This is going to be my shave review with the Micro Touch 1 safety razor. So I'm sure you guys have seen this out there. It's a nationally advertised safety razor, which I think is really awesome that they are at the very least increasing awareness to different styles of shaving that are out there, be it with a safety razor, straight razor, whatever. This is getting those out there, you know, and it might spark an interest in people, so I think that that's really cool. And you can get this, this razor comes like this with, I think it's currently 24 of these Dorco blades for $20. That's definitely a great deal. So let's go ahead and open this up. Comes in a nice little travel case. Here's the razor. Really nice quality, great weight to it. Not a great weight. It's, uh, you know, compared here to my 34C, my Merker 34C, it's not as heavy, but still has a nice weight to it. Nice knurling, and this is a twist to open razor. So you twist it open like this and you place your blade in there and shave. So I'm going to do a full shave with this razor right now and I'm not going to be using the Dorco blades that it came with. So I've never used Dorco blades before. I don't know if they're good for me. Um, though I know that that's the razor blades that this razor comes with, I don't want to introduce two new variables to the system. That's not good scientific method, you know. New razor and a new razor blade. You know, if, if I don't get a good shave with this, I won't know if it's because I don't like the razor blades or if I don't like the razor itself. So I'm going to be using these Persona blades that I really like. Put these in here to decrease the, uh, the level of variables I don't have control of. So we'll just, this will just be an outright uh, review of the razor itself to see if it is in fact a decent razor. So I just got out of the shower, rinsed out my facial hair nice in the shower. It's nice and hydrated, ready to go. And I have my uh, brush here soaking in the sink. So it's nice and hydrated, ready to go. This is the Omega Professional brush. I'm going to be using this brush more often now just because I'd like to start looking at some cheaper brush options. The brush I currently use is, runs for like $20 to $30 depending on what edition they're selling. You can get awesome Omega brushes for $7, $8, $9. So I'm going to start using some of these cheaper options just because I do like them a lot and there's no reason not to. So anyway, I'm going to fill my sink with water here and get started. So I've got my brush. I'm just going to knock out the extra water. Today I'm going to be using Bear Stern Man Seville scent soap. I just have a little sample of this and I really like it a lot so I'm going to use it for this. Excellent. Lots of soap load here in the brush. Very easy to load up soap. Add in a little water here. Facial hair and I'm going to go to a face lather. This brush is so massive. It's like using a paintbrush. Covers, look at that, my entire cheek. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, really nice lather. Really like that soap a lot. So here with the razor, I'm gonna put in a fresh blade. Open this up. This is twist to open. Open up from the bottom, fresh blade, you set it there, there's like a center bar, which is a little different from two or three piece safety razors. Tighten it up. So I'm going to check my blade exposure. Adjust it just a little bit. You guys want to make sure that your, that the razor blade in your safety razor is load evenly on both sides and it's not sitting in there a little bit sideways. It'll give you more consistent shaves. <coughs> Just want to make sure it's really, really nice and evenly loaded in there so it gives the best shape possible. I'm not used to tightening up with these twist to open razors. All right, I think that that's good. One thing I definitely noticed here is that there's not much blade exposure. There, this should be enough, but it's not as much as with some other razors. So it could be good for a beginner shaver. So anyway, I'm gonna heat up the razor here in hot water and get started. All right, gonna light up with the sideburn, add angle, and go down. Feels good. I can definitely tell that this blade in here is not too aggressively exposed. So a nice job. I have about three or four days of growth right now, which is a little more than I'm used to. Um, I usually shave with just two days of growth, but 
So you do a nice job cutting down through this, especially because there's not much, uh, not much blade exposed. All right, that was a good first pass. No nicks, anything like that. Um, I, you know, the the blade is not aggressively exposed, like I had mentioned. So this first pass isn't as close as I'm used to with like. I mean, like, a slant would be a lot closer, but, uh, you know, this is even more mild than, like, the Edwin Jagger DEA 9 that I use. So, it's not a problem, it's just a different style razor. Alright, second pass, I'm going to go cross grain. Doing a very nice job. Very smooth. Alright, second pass. Really smooth pass. I'm actually, I did cross grain on the top of my face and it feels really great. I'm very, very impressed. That, after that first pass it wasn't as smooth, but this second one really cleaned it up nicely. So aside from that, aside from like the level of aggressiveness, it feels really nice to shave with. Nice weight, the knurling on here is really, really nice. I haven't been losing my grip on it at all. So sometimes, if the knurling isn't good enough, the razor can become a little slippery in your hand, which isn't the best. Sometimes the Edwin Jagger is a little bit slippery for me, even though I have the one with like the lines on there. It doesn't have like the thick knurling, like a Merker. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be a cleanup pass. I'm going to clean out the extra lather on my brush like that. Apply it, feel around. I am going to go over my face pretty much the entire thing a second pass would like to get a little bit closer. So that's one thing that does make a difference, the direction that you go in cross grain, because this is going to be a different pass than this pass, so that's something to take into account. Alright, that was a good clean up pass. I'm going to clean up here in the shower for some final remarks. So that was my shave review with the Micro Touch 1 Safety Razor that you guys may have seen ads for recently. And I really liked it, honestly. I feel like this is a, uh, this is a very safe safety razor, if you want to say that. Not much blade exposure, but I actually got a really nice shave with it. I uh, actually got really close on my neck. It's very, very close. My neck's a very sensitive area for me. And because there's not much blade exposure on here, I could really go over it and go from like slightly different directions and really get close. I usually don't get this close on my neck, so it's definitely a plus. Um, smooth overall, it's very close up here. I had to do multiple passes to get down to a place where I'm happy. So like comparing this, this is a very not aggressive, unaggressive razor. And a more aggressive razor, like jumping to the other side of the spectrum, is like a slant razor, like the Merker 37C. So with the Merker 37C, I do one pass with the grain and then just clean up and I'm done. It's nice and close. This one I had to go over areas maybe four or five times. I was really having to go over my mustache area a lot to get down where I like it. But each pass was smooth. It was easy on my skin and it's really close now and I'm very happy with that. So, you know what, I am pleased to say that this is not a bad option. You know, if you're looking to get a razor, $20 if you're looking to get a safety razor, I don't think it's a bad option. Uh, the only thing that I would recommend is get a blade sampler pack, because this only comes with one type of blade, and every wet shaver knows what type of blade works best for them. I like these Personas and Feathers and Derbies the best. Those work best for me. Some of my friends like the Bix, the Astras, Respira, there's a bunch of different blades out there and you'll find what works best for you. So if you do get this and this is your first safety razor, get a blade sampler pack. I will do a shave review with this with the Dorco in there just to see how these Dorco blades shave. Uh, I don't really know much about these blades so anyway, very happy with that. Very nice shave, very close. A um, few extra passes to get to the level of closeness that I like but overall it's a winner. Uh, let me know if you use this razor. I am interested to 
hear other people's comments on this and if they like it or not and if you've been using it for more than just one shave. This is my first shave with it, how it's held up in time. It seems like it's got really, uh, really a lot of quality in there. It seems like the workmanship's nice, so I don't think that this is something that deteriorate in time. But please let me know. I am interested to hear. And as always, thanks for watching.